that's just wild. Yes. <laughs> I was looking forward to winter this year more than maybe any year I can remember. And it never really came. We had a few storms, the biggest one I missed while in Europe. Every now and then, the sky opens up and gives us a tease, but nothing sticks. It's been strange, this weather has resulted in many gray, rainy days. I felt pretty uninspired to go out and shoot for fun. But now I know after years of doing this, there are always ups and downs with creativity and motivation. And as the sun started to shine more and more, my itch to get outside and film slowly came back. Despite these mornings still being frozen cold, the signs of spring were on the horizon. I love doing these little hikes in my neighborhood to remind myself how nice it is to live in nature. The sun comes up from the mountains right in front of our coffee bar, and I love making espresso while the sun is shining. Every so often I'd go over to my friend Amy's house for dinner. Being away from the city, there's less creative input in general, which I actually love. But having a few good friends who I can talk to about filmmaking is always something that I enjoy. And whenever we had a warm day, we take a trip to my butcher. Something as simple as cooking outdoors just gets me so excited for the warmer months. Okay. That is just so insane. The wood, fire, combined with how Vincent's beef tastes specifically, like there's no other steak I've ever tried that tastes like this. It's pretty interesting how the mind works. Or I guess it could also be growing older. I've been spending a lot more time where I grew up at my childhood house, spending time with my mom. So I'm going to these places that we used to come as kids. Hiking up, I had flashes of memories of coming here, swimming here, hiking. Maybe two or three years ago, I would have come here 
and not appreciated it as much as I do now. Because now I come here and do think it's amazing that I grew up getting to see places like this. I just have a greater appreciation for it, you know, due to many things. And I, I can't exactly pinpoint what. There's something about being at home for the past few months that's so nostalgic. Over the past, you know, five years, I've spent a decent amount of time around these parts. I have more vivid memories of what it was like as a kid. I can really see that it's the last time that it will feel like this. In my head, I'm grasping onto the memories of what it was like when we were all here, my brothers included. While that sounds very sad in a way, it also makes me appreciate it a lot more. And it really makes me live in the present as, as you know, corny as that can sound. It's true when something happens badly or just when time moves on, you have a real clear sense of what's important. And right now I can't think of many things better than being out here on a warm, sunny day, completely alone. Early March, I headed south to the Blue Ridge Mountains with my friend Ivan, who I hadn't seen in a few years. We were there to work, but had a couple days to enjoy the scenery. And the next day after our shoot, I woke up to a peaceful, foggy world. I really love these slow mornings alone. They give me the time and the space to think. And then as we drove up the parkway, the clouds were replaced by sunshine and a gentle breeze. I've been on this hike several times now, both with my dad and with Kaylee, and it's so cool to come at different points in the season. The green was just starting to come back, which made this warm day feel like summer was really just around the corner. Thank you. 
The light in the mountains is always special. And our last morning was no exception. stood there watching the sun rise, hopeful that these signs of spring would also be on the east coast. But after arriving home that night, the weather delivered the only thing that made sense for this year on the first day of spring. <laughs> 